Grandma Tippy Toes, yeah, that's my name. Learning with music, that's my game. Come along and sing a song or two. I just love spending time with you. Have you ever cut an apple in half? If you have an apple at your home and you have someone to help you with the sharp knife, cut it in half so that the stem is on one side and the blossom is on the other. So you're cutting it in half widthwise. And you'll see a, see a star in there. That star shows that there's something special in that apple. I have cut apples in two that look as if they're really not that good to eat. There is still a star inside of the apple. So we really can't judge apples by the outside. We can't judge people by the way they look. And we can't judge a book by its cover. For example, this book. I saw this book at a bookstore and I thought, well, that's interesting. That author was able to use just black and yellow and white and blue. And it looks like that those are all the colors that he used. I wonder what this is about, but I don't know. It looks like it would be a little boring. So I opened it and this is what I found. It's useful to have a duck. I found a duck and I picked him up. Now I ride him like a rocking horse. That can't be too comfortable. I use him for a hat. He can be a whistle or a straw. I use him for a nose. <laughs> and to dry off. Then I leave him in the tub. And when the water is gone, I use him for a plug. So just as I suspected, it's a very simple book. And I, it's useful to have a boy. What? I, this can't possibly be another book here. I, oh my goodness, now the duck is telling the story. I found a boy and he picked me up. Now he rubs my back. Do you remember what the boy was using him for? That's right, a rocking horse, that's right. I use his head to see the view. What was the boy using the duck for? Exactly, a hat. And he gives me kisses. Oh, there were two things that the boy was using the duck for. Do you remember what they were? Yes, a whistle and a straw. Boy, you are so smart. I pretend to be a gargoyle. Do you know what a gargoyle is? That might be an interesting thing to look up. There were gargoyles on, on the Notre Dame Cathedral in um, a cartoon movie. The, the Hunchback of Notre Dame, you might want to look that up. I, oh boy, this is a little gross. I wax my bill. Ooh, I'm gonna turn that page. Blech. Then I swim a while until I find my little sleeping hole. Oh, see, it turned out to be an interesting book. What? Oh, didn't we just read this book? What is going on here? Oh, it's useful to have a duck. I, I found a duck and I picked him up. Uh, now I ride him like a rocking horse and I use him for a hat and a whistle and a straw. Yeah, we already read all this. I don't know what's going on around here. Dry off and then I leave him in the tub and uh, when the water's gone, I use him for a plug. There, we're finally done. Oh, can't believe my eyes. Would you like to see how this author did this? Get ready. I'm gonna hold this way, way up. You're not gonna believe it. Here we go. Wow! And he did that just for you. Now, if I hadn't looked in this book, I wouldn't have known how special it is. This is a very special book. And that's how it is with people. If you take the time 
to get to know somebody and to look at what's inside, that just might end up being a really good friend. So give people a chance, and they'll give you a chance too. Goodbye, goodbye to you and you and you. Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you very soon. I'll see you next time.